Okay, we're continuing our discussion on timing and astronomy. Uh, in the last video, we discussed solar time, which is based around a noon to noon cycle of the sun. This is what, like, what we like to call 24 hours or one day. And so in this video, I want to tell you about another way of doing timing in astronomy, and it works like this. Okay, so suppose then we'll have the Earth sort of doing its usual thing right here. And once again, we'll get you standing on the Earth here, sort of a little green person standing on the Earth here. Okay, there we go. And what we'll do now is instead of using the sun for timing, let's see if it's possible to use a star for timing. Okay, so you know the stars are up there, and there's certainly some markers and um, signposts in the sky just like the sun is. And say there's a star right there. Okay, and remember the stars are very, very, very far away. We don't see any of their actual motion or anything like that. And so what would the timing issues be with a star like this? Well, I'll show you the first way, which isn't right, and then we'll get it corrected and we'll go from there. Okay, so the usual thing is going to happen as the star is sitting there. Of course, uh, there's the little gray person here, which is going to rotate around, and all the usual things happen, just like we did with the solar timing. Eventually, the gray person ends up right back here again, right where the green person was that started it. Okay, and so you look at this scenario and go, well, this doesn't really seem that interesting at the moment because what happened, of course, is in one scenario here, a light from the star comes all the way down and hits the person in the eye. Then they rotate all the way around again. Looks like maybe 24 hours because that's the rotation of the Earth. Then they look up and see the star again. And of course, the same light from the star comes in and hits them, hits them in the eye, and so they say, well, there's 24 hours again, right? So what's really the difference? Is it possible then if we want to call this star timing that it's still sort of like a, uh, you know, maybe a, a noon to noon, not for the sun, but maybe for a star? Like, is that the same thing? Because either way, just like the sun in the last video here, we're just looking at a star that's maybe at its highest point in the sky, and maybe we just do it at night instead of during the day. And it turns out that, well, not so fast, okay? We can't quite call this star timing based on this geometry that we just looked at. So not so fast on the star timing is not really a noon to noon thing. So let's take a look what happens. Because what we're forgetting in here, or doing sort of on purpose for the sake of this illustration, is in this diagram here, and even the one that I did in the last video for the solar, what about the Earth's orbit? What about its orbital motion, right? Because as the Earth rotates like this, I, you know, we can all agree that the little person is going to rotate around like that. As we do that, we didn't say anything about the Earth's orbit. So is the Earth moving? You know, does the Earth moving its orbit have anything to do with it? If I just sort of maybe traced out an arc of the circle that the Earth would be going on as it went around, uh, you know, it's going to be over here next, and it's going to be over here as it goes around its orbit because, you know, the Earth does the two things. Do we need to take that into account? And my answer to that question is yes, we definitely need to take that into account. And let's get set up on that then. Okay. So what we'll do then is we'll sort of set up the same scenario for you here. I'll put the sun here. So we have no conclusions on the star timing at the minute. And I'll put the star way out here. And I will put the earth right here. And I'll put the little green person standing here on the earth. Okay. So here's what happens now. Let's just say this is how everything is going to start. Okay, this is your starting position like this. Okay, this, this diagram here is quickly going to get um, drawn with a lot of lines, but I'll just draw a start here because this is the way everything starts. And what do I mean by start? I mean by start is like 12 noon for you, and at this time of 12 noon, you look straight up and see the sun, and say you had some uh, magic goggles or some sort of uh, interesting telescope that even in addition to getting blasted by light from the sun during the day, somehow you could also get a view of this star right here. There's any one you can choose from like that. And so basically as you start here, when I mean, you look up in the sky, so your view here from Earth would be, you would know, be looking at the sun, which of course you're never supposed to do, but again, maybe there's some technology or some cool filter or something that you're using to view the sun. And also at the same time, you see that star up there. Okay, that's sort of what your view would be in your eye. And that's sort of the way we're going to start. Okay. And so re really you can call this as time is equal to zero for our timing. And let's just see what happens. But we'll pick it up that up in the next video.